As YouTube continues to change and bow down to the pressure from advertisers, we're at a stage where the future for creators is starting to look very bleak. Over the last 13 years, we've come to find a YouTuber's shelf life doesn't last long, and so many have come and gone in the battle for popularity. Only a select few of the older generation of creators have stood the test of time, but they have had to adapt to YouTube's format and changing rules in order to survive. Sadly, the new generation of YouTubers have started to enter. A large amount of Fortnite gamers, celebrities and over-the-top brainless challenge videos have come in to dominate and cater to a very young audience. Much like YouTube, these channels lack any realism, creativity or genuine personalities that once existed in abundance on the site. Now, YouTube lacks the spirit and soul it once had, and this is mirrored in its current crop of creators. Family friendly is the way forward, apparently, and for many, this doesn't suit their channels, so advertisers run a mile from them. However, in the evolving body of YouTube, one creator has remained true and not caved in to the ever-changing rules and regulations. The last true remaining YouTuber who stands for what YouTube once was. That creator is iDubbbz. Love him or hate him, he's a true master of producing hit pieces and series that stand the test of time. He's one of the most straight-talking creators on the platform, and while most YouTubers changed for the fame and fortune, iDub stayed true. He still continues to make videos in a room that looks like a crack den that wouldn't seem out of place in an episode of Breaking Bad. There's no clickbait titles or thumbnails, and this honesty is part of why his fans love him. And although this honesty comes across as brutal sometimes, it's not something we see on YouTube anymore. And this is because most other creators have been sedated and muzzled by the changes. iDub's first name is Ian. His surname is the debate of much speculation, but he's now part of a disbanded group of YouTubers whose status on the platform grows into that of legend with every passing year. Filthy Frank, Max Mofo, Anything For Views and How To Basic made frequent collaborations that will never be forgotten. The content that this group was creating was perhaps at a time when YouTube was at its peak. iDubbbz has refused since then to kneel at the feet of the changes that now rule the platform. And for most creators, it's a case of bow down to survive and remain advertiser friendly. However, iDubbbz stands strong in the face of adversity where all other creators have fallen. Despite this clampdown, he continues to swear, he continues to cover subjects which definitely aren't advertiser friendly, he doesn't post constantly like others do for the earnings and viewing time. One of his most recent uploads is 9 minutes and 53 seconds long, whereas most other YouTubers would extend the intro or the outro for an extra 7 seconds just to make sure it hits the 10 minute mark. iDubbbz became very popular in a short period of time after he began a series called Kickstarter Crap. It involves Ian poking fun at impractical Kickstarters. The series was a big hit and garnered a large amount of views, which led to Ian gaining enough subs to regularly receive fan mail. Due to the fan mail, iDubbbz was able to start his next series called Bad Unboxing. In Bad Unboxing, Ian opens and judges boxes of fan mail that contain weird and often offensive objects. And once again, the series was a success and continues on his channel to this day. Yo, what's happening, friends, family, and members of the military? Welcome back to another episode of The Industrial Complex, starring the 1UP Box. Wonder what's in the, this month's 1UP Box. In December 2015, iDubbbz uploaded his first ever content cop, a series which would write his name into the YouTube history books forever. He began seeing poor quality content on YouTube and wanting to rid the platform of these channels, he donned a police outfit and content cop was born. His first video targeted YouTuber Jinx and the video was a smash hit, so much so that it helped Ian reach 1 million subscribers. He dedicates months to creating content cop videos and one of iDub's most notable uploads in the series covers Tanner Mongyu. He showed his commitment to the cause by driving thousands of miles and buying a ticket to her event in order to meet her just for the sake of the video, a true YouTuber committed to the cause. The moment they met and what then followed now goes down as a moment on YouTube that will never ever be forgotten. His last content cop sadly was nearly two years ago in 2017 where he goes in hard on YouTuber Ricegum. It is his most successful video in the series with over 30 million views and the accompanying diss track uploaded to his second channel is nearing 70 million views and no doubt would be considered the ultimate diss track made by a YouTuber. Following his content cop series, iDubbbz resumed his normal activities of Kickstarter crap and bad unboxing on his channel. Now being able to talk openly with 
without having to edit yourself on YouTube is pretty much impossible these days if you want to monetize your videos. But iDubs doesn't care about this. From his first upload to his last upload, he remains the same creator. And while some may argue that the old unchecked style of content that once lived on YouTube has no place in today's society due to the younger impressionable audiences, there's no doubt that iDubs is the last of his kind. He encapsulates the spirit of what YouTube once was, and it's because of this the fans continue to support a creator like iDubs. Sadly, the upload frequency of his videos is becoming more and more infrequent, so it is possible that this original spirit of YouTube may become extinct once iDubs decides to call it a day at some point in the future. But hopefully this won't be the case and we can continue to see more of the creator who solely embodies what was once special about YouTube. Thanks very much for watching and please don't subscribe because I probably won't make one of these videos again.